Welcome back. There is a shortage of girls and women in the Big Brothers Big Sisters mentoring program, and you can be a mentor. That's right. Joining us now is Kristen Erickson and Dr. Julia Bain. They are here to talk about this. So uh, why is it? I mean, obviously, it's National Mentoring Month, and we've been talking about this all month, yeah. the need and the push to get females, big sisters in it. Why the shortage? So we are always looking for mentors of any kind. Mm -hmm. Um, but right now we're missing women, and I think it's just because we've been selling it for so long as we need men, mm -hmm. which we certainly do, we always do. Um, but you know, a lot of times the women feel that maybe they're not needed or not um, necessary, where that's certainly not the case. And we wanna make sure that they know they can be a strong ally and advocate for our kids. And that's really interesting, Dr. Ben. I wanted to talk a little bit about too, when it comes to maybe young girls specifically, are there any issues that are more important as far as what they're looking for in a mentor? Is there certain issues they're dealing with? They need an audience. Um, and I want to appeal to the mothers and the aunts and the grandmothers watching this program. Mm -hmm. You are so important to the girls and our young women. You're important too. But every girl needs another audience as well mm -hmm. as their family. And so, you know, as a young girl, your identity is forming, you're working on your self esteem. And to have another woman, to have another audience, is it can be life changing. It can help with self esteem, self identity, and um, you know, it's it's life changing for the mentor as well. Yeah. yeah. Now we've we've been talking, obviously, also talking about mentorship, but the national dialogue really seems to be centered on the Me Too movement, the Times Up movement, and really finding equality and the importance of it. So it seems that we are at a very critical place culturally that that young women young girls as you're saying is they're forming their identity and forming self-confidence that yes. now more than ever it is important to empower them with those tools and just lending an hour a big sister lending an hour it can mean so much more to that little is that right yeah absolutely I mean exactly like you're saying we're now becoming more aware of the things that have always been going on in girls lives issues with self-esteem or bullying or body image or you know, sexual harassment, all of those things, they're now being brought to light. And we're having a really great opportunity to have conversations and address them. Yeah. But to do that, these girls need a voice. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's a great place for the mentors to step in. Mm -hmm. And I think what's important too for, you know, maybe the women at home thinking, uh, I guess I could do, but I don't know how to be a mentor. It's not really kind of like a structured thing. It's just being that listening ear to these girls a lot of the time, right? To have that conversation going so they get that self-confidence and maybe a little compliment can boost the self-esteem. You are never alone. Mm. That is the message we want our girls to hear. You are never alone. You have your big sister, you have your mother, you have your teachers, your neighbors, your friends, your community. You are never alone. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, with the, the bullying that's going on on social media, um, with, with uh, you know, you're not, you're not thin enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not tall enough, you're not this stuff. You're perfect. Mm -hmm. Right. You're absolutely perfect just the way you are. Mm -hmm. And to, you know, to empower girls, it's all about an empowerment movement yeah. and knowing that I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. I have my big sister, I have my mother, I have my aunt, I have my school, I have my, mm -hmm. and we're with you, we're mm -hmm. with you. And I think it's important too because it does help them generate that voice and develop that voice so that they can say that because they may not know the dialogue. So going to a big sister mm -hmm. and saying, well, this is how you embrace mm -hmm. it. Uh -huh. This is what you're feeling. This is what you need to get out there and impart. This is how we embrace it. So it's exactly. really also helping to develop that voice. If uh, a lady out there is watching, and even a gents too, we want to say that <laughs> yeah, we are still <laughs> If they want to learn more information about becoming a mentor, they want to start that process, what is the best way to do that? So our website's great. It's bbbs-cnm.org. Um, you can also check us out on Facebook or give us a call at 837-9223. And even if we are finishing up National Mentoring Month here in a few days, there's always time to sign up, right? It's not like a cutoff when it comes to wanting to be a big brother, big sister. Oh, yeah. We're always you know, looking okay. for mentors. We've always got kids. Um, so whenever somebody is available or interested, yeah. please sign up. sign up. Yeah. There you go. Well, ladies, we appreciate you coming Thank in. You so much. Again, Thank folks you. at home, if you want more information on how you can become a big brother, big sister, and mentor the next generation of leaders, just head over to foxnewmexico.com. Let's take a look.